A few decades ago, Colombia was infamous for its drug lords and violence. But in recent years everything has changed. Today, Colombia is one of the safest countries in South America, welcoming millions of visitors from all over the world. You're watching World Travel Guide, and this time we will visit the most fascinating places in Colombia. Although Bogotá is the capital of Colombia, many tourists prefer the smaller and more manageable city of Medellín. In the early 1990s, Medellín was considered the world's most dangerous city. Pablo Escobar, the notorious drug lord, and the so-called Medellín cartel effectively ruled the city at the time. Since Escobar's death in 1993, the cartel was broken up and the city has made a remarkable recovery. Today, Medellín is a safe and well-liked travel destination. Previously known for its deadly gangs and drug activity, it is now a thriving holiday spot for tourists interested in experiencing the local culture. The natural beauty of Medellín, which rises dramatically from the Ibarra Valley, makes it the ideal location for trekking, ziplining, and horseback riding. The city has cable cars connecting its hillside communities to a modern metro system in the valley below. The Antioquia Museum, which has a sizable collection of Botero paintings, is perhaps Medellin's best-known attraction to tourists from other countries. The Comuna 13 neighborhood, with its vivid residences and spectacular street murals, is surely one of the places to visit. Being a young city, Medellin's architecture has a distinctly modernist charm that matches its inhabitants' progressive mindset. The only metro system in Colombia is located in Medellin. Pablo Escobar constructed and owned the luxurious estate known as Hacienda-Napolis, which is located about 150 kilometers east of Medellin. The estate has a total area of 20 square kilometers. Many of the original structures on the property were destroyed or converted to other uses after Escobar's death in 1993. The family of Pablo Escobar engaged in a legal dispute with the Colombian government over the property after he was fatally shot by Colombian police. The municipality now oversees the neglected property as a result of the government's victory on court. The majority of the animals were determined to be donated to Colombian and other zoos because maintaining the zoo and the animals would have been too expensive for the government. Today, the property is a theme park featuring hotels, a water park and a zoo with a safari-style setting. The Huataparac is one of top attractions for visitors who come to Medellin. The views from the top of the hill are magnificent, and this amazing rock provides a ton of photo opportunities. Located in the town and municipality of Huatapa, it is a monolithic granite outcrop that is encircled by Lake Peñol. The Huatapa rock is one of the world's tallest monoliths and rises over 2,000 meters above sea level. The stone measures 285 meters in length 210 meters in height and is 110 meters wide. Although the granite is almost entirely smooth, it has a single, lengthy crack that extends all the way to the base of the face. The 649-step brick staircase in this crack makes it very simple for visitors to ascend to the top. It takes roughly two hours to travel from Medellin to Huatapa. Bogotá is the capital and largest city of Colombia. With a population of around 8 million, this cosmopolitan capital is located in the Andean Mountains at a height of 2,600 meters. Bogotá is renowned for its energy and excitement, which are deeply ingrained in its colorful streets. Once a place of crime and despair, Bogotá is now one of Colombia's best and safest places to live. Regarded as Colombia's cultural melting pot, this city is a place where people from all around the country come together. The old buildings with their colonial roof tiles are a remarkable historical gem from the colonial era. 
the striking structures bordering the Plaza de Bolivar and must-see cultural sites like the Dazzling Museum of Gold can be found in La Candelaria, Bogota's historic center. Some of Colombia's top boutique stores and restaurants may be found in North Bogota's wealthy neighborhoods. On Sundays, you can take a bike ride down the city's 120 kilometers long cycleway, which is spread out across Bogota's main routes. There are a lot of ongoing exhibitions of historical and artistic works from many periods, as well as festivals and fantastic performances. In the north of Colombia, on the shores of the Caribbean Sea, sits the city of Cartagena. The jewel of Colombia's Caribbean coast, Cartagena is also one of the best-preserved colonial tourist sites in the Americas. You can stroll inside the old walled city here and possibly experience a sense of time travel. A remarkable 13 kilometers of centuries-old colonial stone walls surround the city. The old town of Cartagena, a network of cobblestone lanes, churches and other structures that cast their shadows across lush plazas, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city was also one of the most significant ports in the Caribbean due to its favorable location. Along with Havana and San Juan, the port of Cartagena played a crucial role in the West Indian trade route, opening up a significant chapter in the history of global exploration. Cartagena is actually the most visited city in Colombia. During the December holidays, when schools are out and most Colombians enjoy their vacations, it becomes incredibly crowded. Due to its tropical location, the city has distinct dry and wet seasons. The best time to visit this unique city is between December and April, which is also the dry season. The protected Tayrona National Natural Park, which is renowned for its palm-fringed coves and crystal-clear coastal lagoons, is home to some of Colombia's best beaches. The majority of beaches are framed by the magnificent Sierra Nevada Santa Marta Mountains, whose forested highlands make for an excellent side trip on any beach vacation. At protected regions close to La Pistina Beach and Cabo San Juan, Tayrona is also an excellent location for snorkeling. Even though they are far away, these isolated beaches aren't exactly hidden, so it's best to go when it's not as busy to escape the huge crowds. Also, be ready to pitch a tent at one of the many campgrounds near the shore. The Colombian Department of Archipelago of San Andes includes the mountainous Caribbean island of Providencia. Its inhabitants speak English rather than Spanish, and it is actually much closer to Nicaragua than Colombia. This tiny island features some of the most beautiful beaches in Colombia. To get to Providencia, you must first stop on the busier San Andres Island and take a quick hopper flight or a three-hour catamaran ride. The largest collection of cottages on the breathtaking island's west shore can be found here. A hurricane hit the island directly in November 2020. One of the worst and fiercest tropical cyclones to hit Colombia, it caused an estimated 98% destruction of all infrastructure. The Sea Flower Biosphere Reserve, a 10% portion of the Caribbean Sea's marine protected area, is centered at Providencia. This critically important reserve, which includes the San Andes, Providencia, and Santa Catalina Archipelago, is home to some of the world's richest marine species. Cully is the largest city in southwest Colombia, with over 2.2 million inhabitants. Cully is the key urban and commercial hub in the south of Colombia and has one of the nation's fastest growing economies. It is also Colombia's only major city on the Pacific coast. Cully has historical districts with many different cultures as well as other attractions. There are numerous historic churches, but also a well-kept historical district in downtown Cully. Cully is surely one of the most well-known places in the world of dancing. 
There are 7,000 professional salsa dancers here, including qualified instructors who can teach newcomers the fundamentals of the dance. There are entire neighborhoods of the city devoted to this unique beat, and you can find dance halls, music academies, and schools wherever you go. The world-famous music and dance festival known as the Cully Fair, which takes place in December, draws both locals and tourists from around the world. The 100-kilometer-long Cano Cristalas River, also known as the River of Five Colors, flows through Colombia's Serrana de la Macarena National Park in the province of Meta. Due to its vibrant colors, this liquid rainbow, as it is often known, is one of the most amazing natural wonders of Colombia. For the few months when the conditions are ideal, the river's bed is vibrantly colored red, yellow, green, blue, and black. The aquatic plants in the river produce the colors during the reproductive process. The light cannot reach the plants growing in the riverbank during the wet season because the river runs rapidly and high. There isn't enough water available to support the plants throughout the dry season. This phenomenon happens nowhere else in the world. In this area where the Amazon and Orinoco basins meet the Andes Mountains, there is also a high concentration of endemic species. The Las Lajas Sanctuary is a well-known cathedral among Colombian Christians and tourists from all over the world. Being built on the side of a cliff in a canyon gives it a fairy tale charm that is incredibly awesome to witness in person. It is a magnificent structure with outstanding architecture. One of the world's most fascinating cathedrals, Las Lajas Sanctuary is situated not far from the Ecuadorian border, close to the Colombian city of Ipiales. It was built inside the canyon where the Hitara River flows, 100 meters from the canyon's bottom, and connected to the opposite side of the ravine by a 50-meter tall bridge. For those traveling by land from Ecuador to Colombia, the detailed and gothic-themed ambience is fascinating to see, and it is definitely worth the visit. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You can also check out other travel-related videos and playlists on this channel.